Christmas Day How do you eight. You have so much energy. I just I'm tired. It. Yeah, but I'm tired, and I I just kind of I feel like a melting marshmallow. Do you want to know why? Coffee. Cause you're old. I so do mean. have coffee. You were so mean to me. Ding, ding, ding. Look how big it is. It's as big as my head. Today, I have an exam, and I didn't study because it's easy. <laughs> it's gonna be some scientific question, some obscure thing that he talked about. No, it's all about like baseball and lapta and piss Apollo is it gonna be brand rules? Ball. Is it gonna be rules and all that stuff? No, it's like where did they come from? And I can tell you right now, cricket is from Britain, lapta is f Russian, and then brand ball is Swedish. Did you do international games? Like what is yeah. that? Yeah. They're like random, like who plays Pesapalo? I've never heard of it. What's Lapta? It's like baseball, but instead of running bases, you run in a straight line. It's kind of like cricket, you know how cricket has to, mm -hmm. they have to go back and forth. It's like that, but if somebody gets the ball, they have to try to tag the runner with the ball while they're so, running. Kind of like baseball too. It's like baseball tag. He literally told us like everything that's on the exam. So it's literally like the scoring system for cricket, the origins of all the sports. He's gonna give us two of the sports and we have to compare and contrast them. Uh, we have to draw a diagram of the Pesapalo field. We have to talk about um, striking or pitching in one of the sports and like the four phases of movement, which is preparation, force production, critical instant, <laughs> and then follow through and how that like relates to that skill. So like easiest exam ever, not mad about it. And you think it's gonna take you like 15 minutes to do? Yes, because so I already know travel, all the answers. You're gonna travel in an hour and a half <laughs> yes. to sit for 15 to come back for an hour and a half, hopefully get on an express train, and then go to work. run to work. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's my day. So. Uh, you guys are coming along on my really uneventful day. Mine's not that exciting either. Yeah, but it's 7.40 right now. My exam is at 2.30, so I'm literally yeah. just going to be sitting in my room doing nothing because I didn't bring out my computer. I didn't bring anything to do except my one study sheet, which is literally a page long. I just ran for the train, and I literally missed it by like two seconds. I went to the wrong platform. So it was on platform three, so I went to four, cause it's usually on four. I was coming out the doors and I saw it's on platform three, so like I ran, I'm tired. I ran down to the stairs to go back up to platform three and I literally was coming out the door and they shut the door. So I was like hitting the door being like, can I please come on? And they were like, nope, sorry, we're leaving. And then they pulled away while I was standing at the door being like, Bye. So now I have to wait another half an hour and I ran for nothing and I'm annoyed. Good start to the morning. <laughs> I had all these grand plans to, you know, study, make sure I was ready for this exam, and then I promptly fell asleep. So it's now 1.30, and I guess I should look at my notes now, and then write this dang exam and hopefully pass, and hopefully I can get it done in like 15 minutes, and then fly to the train station to go home to work. I'll see how well this works, but I'll uh, update y'all after the exam is over. Done. Because <laughs> that's how I roll, apparently. Freedom! Did you say how the exam went? No. The exam was really, really easy. It literally took me 15 minutes and I wasn't allowed to leave the room until it had been half an hour. So I was just like just chilling there, waiting. But now I'm going to work. How do you feel about writing exams in 15 minutes? Oh, it scares the hell out of me that you can do that. Either you're brilliant, <laughs> you're either brilliant or you're dumb as a post. But you seem to do okay with that. Let's go with brilliant. I will go with brilliant. Although with the math stuff, it was dumb as a post, pray for the bell curve. It was literally, I don't know what any of these are. Let's write down random numbers and hope that one of them and, is right. And I don't know how you did it, but you passed them all. I'm a scholar. It's now 1040 and I'm back from work. I'm exhausted, but me and Ricardo are gonna go for late dinner. That's what I'm calling it. At a little diner because I am hangry and I want food. Say hello to Vlogmas. Hey, forgot about Vlogmas. <laughs> He's wearing the shirt that he wore on our second date. It's his grade nine shirt. <laughs> that I still fit in. That could either be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. I mean, that's kind of a bad thing. Shouldn't you be like more like jammed or something? Um, How's it going for you? <laughs> Where are we? We are at Wimpy's. 24 hour all day breakfast and lunch. And dinner. What are you getting? <laughs> Honestly, considering this is basically my fifth meal, fried pickles. That's disgusting. I've never had a fried pickle actually. 
prawdziwie. A no, we put on some pets. Real difference. I'm literally like so fat right now, and then what is that? Do you love it? <laughs> she does this dance every time she eats food. Every time she first gets her food, takes that first bite, it's the. I got excited because it tastes good. Oh my! Too big, right? Um, yeah. Oh, that's so good. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's 12.30 at night now. I just got home and your girl is real tired so your girl is going to bed so thank you so much for joining me on vlogmas day eight and i will see you in tomorrow's video goodbye